Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna explain and show you what is the brachial plexus nerve gliding or plasing and how to treat that. Alright, let's go to learn. Nerve flossing, also known as nerve gliding or nerve mobilization, is a variety of exercise designed to mobilize and stretch the nerves, reducing irritation and improving range of motion. Nerve flossing is a movement, so it is an active exercise and not just a stretch. Radial nerve flossing works by tensioning one end of the nerve while releasing tension on the other end. This repetitive motion causes the nerve to glide back and forth through its path and aims to break up any audition that have developed along its path. The purpose of brachial plexus nerve flossing or gliding. This can help reduce pain caused by cervical radiculopathy, as well as removing nerve pain in arm, numbness, tingling, and burning sensation, and improve range of motion, strength, balance, and coordination. One of the goals of brachial plexus nerve flossing is to increase blood flow around the area and promote healing. When doing this type of exercise, it's important to use slow, controlled movement. Gliding exercise help for the nerve through the tunnel of the nerve pathway, therefore relieving pain and numbness. It's important to perform gliding exercises slowly and gently to avoid further aggravating the brachial plexus nerve. Never force yourself and always stop if you feel the pain getting worse. Studies suggest that traditional physical therapy methods combined with nerve flossing may be just what you need to get rid of cervical radiculopathy. Studies have shown that combining nerve flossing with traditional physical therapy can effectively reduce shoulder and arm pain. It can also improve the range of motion in shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers. Nerve gliding promotes a smooth, regular movement of the body's particular nerve. This allows the nerve to glide freely with the movements of the joint and relieves the nerve from pressure. Brachial plexus nerve stimulation alleviates acute neuropathic pain through modulation of nerve inflammation and inhibition of descending pain in a rodent model. Brachial plexus nerve exercise to avoid overreaching over the shoulder level, touching on your back, lifting heavy stuff through the ball or something, and rotating internally. Last one, physical therapy. After six to eight weeks of nerve rise constantly and regularly, you can expect to feel less or no tightness or pain. A restricted or entrapped nerve is sensitive and should not be forced or aggravated. So, if you feel any pain while doing nerve glide exercise, or afterward, you should reduce the range of motion and glide to free band further irritation. The less irritation along the nerve, the quicker it will heal and therefore will allow 
greater pain-free movement. Always avoid stretching nerve or grinding through the pain, as this will further aggravate the injured nerve. If your pain persists or worsens, you should see a doctor of physical therapy or neurologist immediately for an accurate diagnosis and tailored treatment plan. A brief explanation of brachial plexus nerve gliding or flossing is here. Now, I'm gonna show you first major therapy to home exercise. All right, let's go along. Major therapeutic home exercise is here. Please do this therapeutic exercise once or twice a day. After get up in the morning or before you fall into sleep from Monday to Saturday. Please put the alarm on your cell phone at the same time for regular home exercise. If 
we are signing symptoms are improved a week later, start the high level of therapy exercise. If not, keep it up the same or low level therapy exercise. Then, if the signs and symptoms do not improve or pain worsen even after level 1 exercise, please see medical doctor as soon as possible and get an accurate diagnosis and test. Please watch the following video. Make sure you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and then turn on your ring notification. Have a beautiful day. See you again.